Hold up, I am on my way I'm in motion Let's go to the ocean Yeah, let's go outside Good morning from Shabbat's, guys. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. Man, it's actually not that cold out here this morning. I just woke up. The boys are still asleep. Well, Ethamar just woke up. My hand is knocked out cold. Um, hopefully they wake up soon so we can head out to the city and start exploring. But for now, let's go on in there. Let's make some of that world-class Jacob's coffee and some toast. And we'll see what the morning brings. actually a surprisingly sunny day here in Shabbat. I wasn't expecting this. I was expecting it to be super cold, but it's definitely sunglasses weather. And even though it is sunny, it still is a little bit chilly out there. But one jacket will do for today, which is really nice. Lately, I've been layering up, but we really don't know what we're getting into today. We came up to Shabbat's very last minute. Yesterday, we were actually going to go to a place called Piro and we actually had a room there booked, but we ended up canceling it because our boy Han was feeling better from his dental work and wanted to come out and join us for a few days. So we went to Leskovac just for a brief meal and drove straight to Belgrade. Um, basically, we're just gonna go chill because everything here is closing at five today and not opening up until Monday morning at five. Now that is a new restriction that the government put in place. I'm not too excited about that, but good thing is they're still gonna have del delivery food and grocery markets open so it won't be too bad pancake <laughs> you want to start the day with a pancake yeah with the with the plasma with the plasma I like the plasma. he's addicted to pancakes here in Serbia I don't know what it is this guy eats like at least one a day when we're in Belgrade he's always ordering from this place called Glumats, I believe yeah, yeah, right, Glumats? Yeah. And they make these like massive pancakes. I'll, I'll try and see if I can find a clip of us eating one so I can throw it in there for you. I've, I'm pretty sure I've recorded that before. But um, these pancakes are huge and they're very typical here in Serbia. You wanna, you, you wanna Google one or just walk around till we find one? Let's just walk around. Let's I'm not even fun. sure if this is the center. Like I said, we haven't done any research. We booked this Airbnb like last night at around 7 p.m. We had no idea where Shabbat exactly stood on the map. We just came. Right away we came across this like park with all these like crazy structures and there's a sign and it looks like it's probably something important but it's written in Cyrillic so I can't understand it. However, there's a bunch of benches as well with numbers and I'm not sure what it signifies but it probably signifies something important. Um, we're gonna walk down the street now and see if we can find ourselves some of those pancakes that Eat the Mars looking for. I'm really liking the vibes of this place so far. It seems very chill, very laid back place. I could honestly see myself staying here for a while. There's a lot of restaurants, shopping stores, bars, cafes along the street that we're currently walking down right now. And it looks absolutely incredible. Still, no sign of pancakes. A pancake, you wanna go check? Yep. Mask has to go on. We just walked into this place thinking that they had pancakes and they don't. They just got a bunch of like, um, looks like traditional food to me. So I think we're gonna go ahead and order some food because we're hungry. So there was a gentleman in here who was actually helping us with our order. And right now on his way out, he said, yo, I know you from YouTube, man. Keep making great videos. I hope to see an amazing one from here in Shabbat. So that makes me really happy. Now these potatoes. So damn good. No, it does say fast food, but it looks like they know what they're doing. A lot of people are coming in and out of here. Let me try this moussaka. This is my first bite of moussaka in Serbia. Wow, it's so good. It has like squash, some sort of noodle, cheese it looks like. I like, I like. I can get down with this. Do you like it, bro? It's amazing. Wow. To be honest, I don't know how we got lucky enough to come across that place. Good call, Ethamar. He was like, yo, stop. They might have pancakes. They didn't have pancakes, but I'm so full. We ate a lot. And that food was actually quite good. They said it was fast food, 
but it didn't seem like fast food to me. I mean, it was all local right. Food. Yeah, like local food. They did have it in like large portions, like they had a lot of it. So um, I see why they maybe say fast food because they just, you go in there and you eat it fast, but it was good. Itamar and Hen just walked into a VIP store, but I just spotted a church over on the corner and I'm walking up to it now to go check it out. It looks absolutely stunning. That Orthodox church was absolutely beautiful. Let me cross back over the street and meet up with the boys. And I think we're heading over to the Sabach Fortress, which I just seen a sign for right now. Man, Itamar just reminded me of something. We have been making all these plans for my birthday. Not that they were gonna be too intense anyway, but we wanted to go out, day drink, hop around from bar to bar in Belgrade. My birthday is December 7th, and now he just reminded me, everything's gonna be closed. Now, the new rules are saying that it's everything will be open again on Monday morning, but as of right now, the way that things are going and how everything's changing so fast, I'm not getting my hopes up no more. It's quite nice because it seems like the fortresses, everywhere that they're located, in the big cities at least, like if you look at Novi Sad, Belgrade, man, what else, Niche, here now, the fortresses are always located like right outside of the city center. So they're really easy to access. And of course, great places and places that you must visit, guys. So this fortress is actually located along the Sava River. It's super windy right here. And it looks a lot different. It's a lot smaller than the other ones that I've seen here in Serbia. Really cool, actually. This might have to be one of my favorite fortresses that I've seen so far. You wanna know why? Because it's just super authentic. They haven't built any restaurants, any cafes, nothing inside of here. It's just a fortress and that's what makes these places great. I hate going into like very historical places and seeing like a McDonald's, a cafe, or just something smacked into a piece of history that just doesn't belong there. I like this. I like this. Even Hen loves it. He's back there just running around. It's great. It's windy too. So once you come inside these fortress walls, that wind is blocked. Very cool. Eat the Mars chilling. <laughs> Between the fortress and this beautiful little park right here that we just took a stroll around, we spent about an hour here and it sucks because we have about two hours left before everything shuts down. Now what you guys don't see in the vlogs is that there is a lot of downtime in between scenes and in between, or in between clips I should say. So we've spent about a good three hours here in the city now and haven't haven't seen a whole lot. We're just taking a nice casual stroll around here. Definitely a place I would love to come back to and spend a lot more time. Um, right now we're walking back towards the city center. We'll see what we get into and see what we can manage to squeeze into the next two hours here in the city. So Itamar and Han both love these Chinese markets that are found all over Serbia. Yeah. Why do you like them so much? There is a lot of stuff and this is very, very cheap. And you, I don't know, it's like funny stuff, very ga nice gift, man. All uh, kinds of things. All kinds of things, and it's so cheap, like lights to put on the wall. Yeah, it's very cheap, it's very beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I've never actually been into one, but they just spotted one, so let's go on inside and check it out. Where are you going right, right now? Are you happy? Yeah, it's cool, it's cool, dude. Look, a lot of crazy stuff. Nice, Fuck. dude. Christmas socks. Let me see. Mm. So we only have an hour until 5 p.m. and I gotta get into a cafe. I know. It feels like we got no time. I wish, I wish this whole situation wasn't a thing so that I could really explore more of these places. But unfortunately, we're only here um, one more full day tomorrow, but we're going to be relaxing in the house since everything's going to be closed. So this is all I'm going to be able to see of Shabbats, which sucks. But um, yeah, right now we are going to look for a coffee shop because I got to upload a video for you guys. I've been committing to this, so I'm not going to let anything get in my way, not even this 5 p.m. curfew. The boys just found something interesting. What is this? I was talking to you guys and wasn't even... Cookies! 
Whoa. Yeah, why not? So the boys just found a little cute cookie shop, cookie slash cafe shop. So we're gonna step in here. I'm gonna try and get that video uploaded for you guys. We're gonna order some snacks, maybe a cappuccino, and we'll see what happens. I just got done ordering myself a cheesecake with a cappuccino, and the boys are up there just having a fun time. They just ordered like some sort of plasma cheesecake, and I believe Hen's getting something else crazy. Hey, yeah, get some of those macarons too. Yeah, yeah, sure. Some you of those ones. One? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Cheers, bro. Cheers, amigo. Mm. Wow. That is like a strawberry chocolate. Incredible macaron. It's been so long since I've had one of these. Oh man, this cheesecake looks incredible. Wow, it is. It's actually not as sweet as it looks. It's has that perfect sweet to tart ratio. It's really, really good. And I love the graham cracker down at the bottom. It's actually made with plasma. So that is, that's incredible. That's insane. Plasma is so good here. He's eating a plasma cupcake. This is like a biscuit cake. Biscuit cake? Plasma. Oh, um, plasma. Yeah, look at the plasma cookie. I know. How's yours, Hen? It's a <coughs> cherry chocolate. Cherry chocolate. Six. Six days, yes. Man, just like that, the sunlight is gone. It's already dark. 4 p.m. It's dark. Streets are already a little bit more emptier. We just walked out of the cookie store. Got the video uploaded for you guys. It's gonna be up in about two hours time. I'm feeling good, other than I know I'm leaving Shabbat without seeing anything. But that's the, that's the times we're living in. We came up here to relax. We've been relaxing. We've been having a great day. And right now, we're going to go and try and find a secondhand shop. We need a secondhand shop. We got about 45 minutes left. Let's see if we can find one of them. Now, the Christmas lights, they just started turning them on. But like I said, right now, we're fighting two battles. We got to deal with the COVID situation and also the winter situation. It's getting dark very early. So with between that and like the time restrictions, we don't have a whole lot of time to get stuff done. Earlier, we've seen quite a bit of secondhand stores. I think that's a secondhand store. No, oh, no, maybe that's not. There was a bit over on this street, but now a lot of them are starting to be closed. They probably closed quite early around here. I'm guessing Shooter Clothing Company. No, this stuff has tags on it. Brand new things. I seen I seen quite a bit. Now I can't seem to find them. It's like when you're not looking for something, they're everywhere. Kind of like when I'm looking for a McDonald's. Whenever I don't want McDonald's, there's McDonald's everywhere. And when I do want some, I can't find it. Let me know if you guys can relate to that. Eurostar. Overall, I'm having a great time with the vlogmas. Let me know how you guys are feeling. Do you guys like these videos? Are they entertaining? Should I keep them up? It's a lot of hard work, but um, it, it's keeping me on my toes. It's getting me faster. I'm learning a lot more, so I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I'm good on the shoes. Man, I think everything's closed, guys. I think everything's closed, to be honest. Yo, look at the horse. Uh, where are we? I think it's so cool. Like, being here in Serbia, and when you see things like that, it's so cool, because where I come from, you sure in the hell don't see horses on the street. You see camel. <laughs> <laughs> He said, you see camels where I live. In Israel, yeah, you can see camels. I heard I heard Israel is all camels and desert. Is Just that true? in desert, in the Bedouin area. <laughs> Man, look at they take life. offense to that when you say, oh, there's only camels in Israel. They get so mad. They're like, no, man, no, just camels. Just in the desert. Only in the desert, the Bedouins. The Bedouins. Amazing place, too. You got to go to the deserts. Yeah, that's true. So amazing. The Bedouin culture especially, it's so cool. If you guys don't know what Bedouins are, just Google them. They're like nomadic people that live in the deserts oh, nice in boat. this region of the Middle East between like Jordan and Israel. Really cool. That lady was super friendly, super nice. I bought myself a sweater inside of that place. Got me a sweater for around $3. What did you get, bro? Dude, it's a SpongeBob. This guy <laughs> bought a SpongeBob. Yeah, I bought a, a SpongeBob. Sponge and he bought another little yeah. uh, toy doll that yeah, looks like a star funny guy but 
Anyways, I think we're heading back to our apartment, guys. I think this is gonna be the end of today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Nice. It's time for us to go home, relax. Man, this whole 5 p.m. thing is such a bummer. I really wish we could go back to life without Corona, but I'm sure most of you feel the same exact way. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. Ciao, man. Ciao, ciao, hen. Ciao, ciao. Later, guys. You were always